Did you know a pig almost caused a war? Yes, you heard it right. A pig? Let me take you back to 1859. Picture this. The United States and Britain are at odds, their tempers simmering like a pot about to boil over. The reason? A boundary dispute on a little speck of land known as San Juan Island. You might think, well that's not too unusual. Nations have squabbled over territory since time immemorial. But here's where the story takes a turn for the bizarre. The straw that nearly broke the camel's back wasn't a battle, a political maneuver, or a diplomatic gaffe. No, it was something much more a poor sign. The potential spark for this international tinderbox was none other than a pig. A humble, mud-loving, snout-nosed pig. So how did a pig almost ignite a full-blown conflict between these two superpowers? Buckle up because it's about to get hog-wild. Picture this. The year is 1859. The location, San Juan Island. The characters, British authorities, American settlers, and our unsuspecting hero, a pig. Now you wouldn't think a pig could stir up such a fuss, but oh how wrong you'd be. This wasn't any ordinary pig, mind you. This pig was the property of one Charles Griffin, a gentleman who just so happened to be a British official. Griffin worked for the Hudson's Bay Company and had quite a few pigs, about 29 to be exact. But this particular pig had a knack for mischief. Enter Lyman Cutler, an American farmer who had a garden he was quite fond of. Imagine his surprise when he found our swine friend rooting around, devouring his hard-earned tubers. Not the best way to make a first impression, I must say. Cutler was understandably not pleased. But instead of opting for a stern talking to or a firm shooing away, he went for a more permanent solution. He shot the pig. Yes, you heard it right. He shot the pig right there in his potato garden. Now you might think, well, that's a bit extreme and you wouldn't be alone. Griffin thought so too. He was livid, of course, and demanded compensation. Cutler, however, saw it differently. He felt that if Griffin had kept his pig under control, his potatoes would still be intact and the pig would still be alive. This disagreement, as you can imagine, didn't sit well with the higher-ups on either side. The British authorities were outraged at the audacity of the American settler, and the Americans were equally indignant at the British reaction. Tensions escalated and before anyone knew it, both sides were up in arms ready for war. So, a shot was fired, a pig was lost, and a war was on the brink, but what happened next? Now, we've got international tensions rising all because of a pig, but, as with everything in life, this couldn't last forever. Imagine two nations, their armies poised and ready, their leaders bristling with indignation, all over a pig. But sanity, thankfully, was about to rear its head. The pig war, as it was humorously referred to, was about to reach its climax, and spoiler alert, no one would get roasted. With the pig's unfortunate demise being the only casualty so far, cool heads prevailed. The British and American governments decided to take the high road and resolve the issue peacefully. Instead of bullets and bayonets, they chose arbitration, a fancy word for talking it out like adults. Both nations sat down, rolled up their sleeves and got to work. They hashed out their differences, each making concessions and compromises. Finally, they came to an agreement that would make even the pig proud. The island would be jointly occupied, yes you heard it right. They decided to share, like two kids realizing they can both play with the same toy, without tearing it apart. This was a victory for diplomacy over aggression, for conversation over conflict. It was a lesson that sometimes the mightiest battles can be won without firing a single shot. And all it took was a pig to teach us this. And just like that, the war that never was, ended. All because of a pig. So what's the takeaway from this poor sign predicament? In a nutshell the pig war shows us that even the most seemingly trivial issues can escalate into international incidents. This ham-handed dispute with its roots in a simple farmyard feud nearly sparked a war between two superpowers. It's a testament to the unpredictability of history, and a reminder of the often absurd origins of major events. And there you have it folks, the pig war, a reminder that sometimes, even the smallest things can have a big impact. So next time you see a pig remember they're not just bacon, they're history makers.